Hi, Gemini. Welcome to your April Singles Love Tarot reading. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Inside Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome, welcome, and thank you, Gemini. Hope you're all doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. So, Gemini, we're looking at your energy and the energy around you. Now, this reading could literally be about anybody or maybe even someone you haven't uh, met yet. So take it how it resonates for you, including the signs mentioned. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, male or female, general collective. And you definitely switch energies around, especially cross-watchers. Could be reading for you. All right. Gemini singles. What do we need to know? So we have High Priestess of Water. So some of you could have uh, water in your chart. Or maybe you're dealing with the water sign. Or maybe getting ready to meet the water sign. Four is a very stable grounded energy and we have growth so this could be a park this could be um a place where you know it, i think i'm going to read you um just a little bit there because i see that as like a meeting place a park um people where people come together but it's kind of like a sacred place so let's see here so it's i guess it's about going down a path here and healing anything that needs to be healed we do see a cat there which is about intuition as well so what i want to feeling like here is um i'm definitely feeling like you're getting ready to meet somebody here and i'm feeling like it could be at an outside um venue or event or maybe at the park or something like that and we have 21, which is three, which could be dating, getting to know, could be building, rebuilding, growth, expansion, coming together in some way, shape or form. High Priestess of Water. So you could be dealing with the water sign, getting ready to meet a water sign, maybe you have heavy water in your chart. Uh, well, water is very flowing. It's about emotions and feelings, intuition, uh, purging and cleansing. And, you know, High Priestess energy is about connecting to our intuition, higher knowing, trusting our gut feelings as well and being connected to source. So on, on an emotional level as well. All right, so let's see, Gemini, what else do we need to know? For Gemini singles, everything you need to know about me in the channels down below. Um, you have a lot of April readings out, so you can check those out. I do, a, if you're new here, I do a lot of uh, readings. I post every Monday, Thursday, 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and eight different readings a month. Wide variety from love, singles, new love, um, new moon, full moon, money, career, spirit messages. I do a monthly, so you can check that out if you like to. And I do have another channel for Twin Flames. If you're interested in Twin Flames, link is below. All right, just, just started it, so there's a couple of videos up there. Dream time creation. Hmm. So I feel like... <laughs> All right, let's get one more passion fire Ooh, so some of you could either be getting ready here to meet a water sign or a fire sign or somebody who has that in their chart <sighs> almost what i'm feeling like here gemini is someone is dreaming of you very fiery passion of you dreaming of creating a life with you as well but i'm not i don't know if you know this person but i feel like also connecting to your um your passion, your desires, your ambitions, your goals, whatever you're creating. It's like keep going down that path. That growth can be as, as a can be a path as well. So maybe some of you um, are creating something that has to revolve around water or something like that. Or maybe use water in some way, shape, or form, if that makes sense. All right. Well, let's see. Or you could also be um, creating something where you help pe de uh, people deal with their emotions and feelings like a support group or something to that effect all right Gemini. what else do we need to know for gemini feel free to go to the community tab i do post a daily poll every single day give vote on previous ones as well okay we're gonna fly here answer the call what is your soul calling you to do so somebody could be calling you just one more okay share your voice so it says here come out of the cave persecution expression so some of you what i feel like 
you may be helping people through very dark times in their life. That's kind of what I feel here. So you could be creating something that you're very um, passionate about. Maybe it's a new path for you uh, and it's, you feel like it's your calling. And, you know, maybe you've been through some dark times in your life as well. Maybe you are meant to meet this person on this path. And that's how your paths align as well. Hmm, interesting. So answer the call. I feel like you are answering the call. Definitely here. All right, Gemini. So what I'm going to do here, Gemini, I'm feeling like whatever this path is that you're on, whether this is something that's a passion project, an endeavor, uh, a little side, uh, I don't want to say a hobby, little side thing you do, you know, maybe it's not like you're living, but you're very passionate about it. Uh, maybe this could be somebody that you meet, um, or you may work with on this project or whatever it is for you. All right. If it's not about that, it could be some other type of endeavor project. Could even be at your work. All right. Well, let's see here. Definitely whatever you're creating, whether it's on the side or at your work or something like that. So let's see. What I'm going to do here, uh, Gemini, is I'm going to shuffle this deck. Oops, not taking uh, flyers yet. Cut it in half, and then I'm going to take the two bottom cards. One is going to be your, your energy, and the other is for the energy around you. All right. Your energy, Gemini. Ooh, the two of swords. Making a definite decision here to do something. Well, what is around you is the ace of cups. Brand new beginning in love. Wow, I felt that. So I feel like you definitely have made a decision here to go down a certain path. So let's see. The High Priestess, again, it could be about spirit, something revolving around the spiritual realm in some way, shape, or form. So you could be a healer, you could be, um, you know, a spiritual healer, a um, holistic healer, or something like that as well. So we have Pisces energy here. So this can be about no communication, but what I feel like is you probably haven't even talked to this person yet. You may not even know them, or maybe you know them in passing, or you've seen them. Eight of Pentacles. So you're definitely working on um, hard on something here that you're very determined about here. Ace of Swords. Yeah, it's all about giving clarity. I feel like Ace of Swords is a brand new beginning, but it's all about truth, clarity, cutting away things no longer serving, enabling uh, those to speak up and say it how it is, tell it like it is. So it's definitely what I see here. Divine clarity from Source as well. So if some of you are wondering, geez, should I be doing this, whatever this is for you, I would say yes, because the Ace of Swords is a successful new beginning. So treasure intuition about it as well. Ace of Pentacles, oh my goodness, you have three Aces here already. Saw the new beginning for the long term. Some of you, if you did decide to invest or start charging or something like that, it could become something very lucrative down the road as well. Five of Swords. Some of you may be doubting, like, oh, I don't know if I want to do that because I don't want to sabotage a good thing. You know, I probably shouldn't do that or ask for money or anything like that. I mean, it's supposed to be a love reading, but it's kind of turning out. <laughs> Ooh, the devil. Capricorn energy. See, toxic energy here. I feel like you're helping, and you're very passionate about this. You're helping people deal with some sort of toxic negative energy in their life. I just want a couple more. Eight of Swords. Yeah, people that feel stuck and bound. Knight of Swords, enabling to move away from the energy rather quickly. Aquarius energy here. And then the Page of Pentacles next. So this is some sort of invite, I feel. Now, I don't feel like this is someone that you're like helping. I feel like this is someone that may be working side by side with you. Page of Pentacles, Capricorn. I feel like they, they like the way that you work. They, they like the way that you uh, work with other people. Your goals, ideals, aspirations, how you help people clear energy and deal with this toxic energy as well. You know, if it's not that too, you could have just made a decision here to set off and maybe you left something that was very dark for you. So this could be something that you went through and now you're helping other people go through, get through it as well. But there's somebody definitely around you that really likes the way you work and they see you as very, very successful. Hmm. All right, so let's take a look at this Ace of Cups around you. Let's take a look at this Ace of Cups. So we got Capricorn, Capricorn, Aquarius, um, Pisces. That's about all I see there. 
Oh my goodness. It's too many. Too many. Too many. All right. So what is the Ace of Cups around Gemini? The Knight of Pentacles. So we got the page, we got the Knight. So we have progression here. So this is about taking action. It's probably been a while coming here. I feel like this is something very slow moving. So, you know, maybe whatever this is as well, if maybe you are working with somebody on this and maybe romantic feelings are starting to take place. Um, I feel like there's a slow progression Someone, I feel like here, definitely somebody has developed a slow progression of like love towards you. I definitely feel like it's someone you're working with in some sort of capacity, whatever that means for you. So we have Taurus energy there. Oh my goodness. All right. So we have the Four of Cups. So somebody's unsure. I think they're unsure how you feel as well. Wheel of Fortune. So they would like this to move forward. Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, Sagittarius as well. Feeling like it's fate, it's destiny, divine timing, something meant to be. This could really go somewhere. Uh, really, really good direction as well. Temperance. Oh my goodness. Sagittarius energy again. Soulmate energy. Peace, harmony, balance, patience, healing. Past lives together maybe even. Divine alchemy brings soulmates together at the exact right time. Ten of Pentacles. Oh my God, that's wealth, abundance, long-term marriage commitment. They could probably actually see you being like a power couple, like settling down. You know, really driving this forward. Whatever it is for you. Page of Cups. So I think they're going to make a move here. There's going to be some sort of communication. It's been slow moving. They're unsure, but they feel like page of cups could be a romantic gesture or romantic invite a date a drink a coffee let's talk you know i like you are you single <laughs> oh my gosh the sun leo energy happiest card in the deck soulmate energy happiness joy growth expansion love peace harmony happy home and family leo energy king of cups so this is someone definitely pisces energy who knows exactly how they feel they've been holding back eight of wands but they're going to take action i felt that they're going to take action and the king of pentacles wow so i mean if we had four kings that would be an emperor so they definitely could be somebody that does help run a business or runs a business or very good with finances business savvy so let's see what else we need to know about this connection six of swords i, I kind of feel like moving forward together in a very peaceful harmonious way could be traveling some of you could be end up traveling together i don't know why i'm, I'm picturing like kayaking and things like that down like a river <laughs> nine of swords there's a little stress anxiety about this Queen of Wands. So somebody here definitely is the creator of something. Um, the Queen of Wands is very creative. We have creation right there. Fiery, passionate, determined. Fire, passion, and creation. Inspirational, spiritual. Go-getter. They make things happen. Entrepreneur, business owner. King of... Well, look at that. We have the King and the Queen of Wands. Back to back here. So vibrational match. So I feel like this is something you're creating... This is someone you're creating something with, definitely here. The King, Queen of Wands, Three of Wands. Again, this this was bound to happen because the Three of Wands is about manifestation and things coming in happening, but it's just kind of like a waiting period. So I kind of feel like this was kind of meant to happen. Ten of Wands. All right, what is that about? Two of Cups, Soulmate Energy. Eight of Cups, Spiritual Journey, or Walking Away. Why is that here? Five of Cups, Hierophant. Huh. So we have Taurus Energy here. We have Soulmate. We have the Hierophant and the High Priestess, my spiritual couple of the deck. Definitely a leveling up here. So somebody definitely feels this on a high level, the Soulmate Energy, or will. Somebody may be a little scared. They may run off at first, leave the other one a little, you know, sad. Oh, geez, what's going on here? But the path that will, this will open up the pathway. So then 
new beginning can manifest here gemini virgo that's your energy three of pentacles so definitely this like i said this is something you're creating and building with someone in some way shape or form or you work with it's kind of what i feel here so i definitely see see two people on the same vibrational match you have the same interest the same goal aspiration very creative you could even be a power couple create this big uh dynamical thing that you're doing and moving it forward wow so i mean the hierophant can talk of marriage commitment we did see the ten of pentacles as well definitely a big leveling up with the hierophant all right two of cups we had um ace of swords ace of pentacles and the ace of cups we have didn't see the ace of wands that's okay so that doesn't mean it's going to be it's going to be solely based on passion but we do have passion there as well so there will be passion there's no doubt about that all right, so let's get you advice and guidance for Gemini. Surrender stress. Take a few deep breaths and exhale the tension you've built up in your body. Let the stress go as you come back to your center. So we did see the nine of swords and the ten of wands. So definitely, maybe you know, maybe a couple of people people here are just overworked, overburdened, stressed out, and there needs to be maybe a walking away of that. <clears throat> and spending more time uh maybe even with each other surrender to the wisdom of your body listen to your body's messages about a person or a situation if you feel physically drained or uncomfortable be cautious if you are energized and happy move forward some of you i think are drained from doing too much surrender to the magic of who you are we all have magic in us even in the mundane aspects of life remember that you are a magical being with a uniqueness and worth that come from just being you exactly and we maybe some of you need to get out more surrender to the natural beauty of the world so definitely it's a magical thing that you're doing here and i feel like you're helping people also connect maybe to their intuition their body their center of being um listening to their you know inner knowing as well okay gemini that's what i have for you so whoever you're creating something with here it has a potential here to be something very strong powerful uh i do i mean we just see the king queen of wands we saw the uh hierophant and the um high priestess my spiritual couple of the deck as well the two of cups the ace of cups and magician here for the new beginning all right gemini that's what i have for you so i hope that helped it resonated uh, thank you so much for watching again your um, playlists are below you can check out all your april readings will be going into may next you can check out the twin flame channel and feel free to vote on the polls on the community tab as well so wishing you the best gemini and i shall see you next time